Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? This is Skull Drawings. And uh, today on Skull Drawings, we go over skull tattoos. And a tattoo that I think is very common would be a skull pirate tattoo with a, uh, kind of a rose on it. Uh, so I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be using this H pencil. I'm just going to use an H because I have it. doesn't really matter. Any pencil is completely fine. Uh, I'm going to be using the back of this eraser of this other one. And I'm going to be using a few of these artist lofts. Uh, they're very similar to microns, but they're not. Uh, and I will kind of talk about those as I get into them. But for right now, we're going to go into this design, this tattoo design, and uh, with pencil. So first thing I do is on the page, I'm going to map out exactly where I want this thing proportionally on the page. Uh, I'm going to make the big frilled hat. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Big frilled hat. I'm going to cut out a segment of it, as in the front of pirate hats, they have that. Put the rest of it over here, the rest of it in the back, where the hat ends, and the skull itself is sticking out. And the skull itself is going to have kind of squares. Uh, kind of square shapes for eyes to start out with. Triangle for a nose. That's a, the big broad shapes that you're thinking about when you're starting this. I'm using the side of the pencil, but no particular reason. I'm just trying to keep it, uh, you know, kind of broad stroked. Uh, pulling in to the upper portion of the, I think they call it maxilla, I forget. Uh, the, the upper part of the jaw, really. The upper, upper row of teeth. And he's going to have, I'm going to put a rose down here. And then we can put uh, the bones out here as well. It's usually the end of like the humerus when they use those. Humor, uh, I think it's the humerus. Uh, femur, I'm sorry, femur. Femur, which would be like the biggest bone in the uh, human body. The rose is going to be kind of a, I think of that as like a kind of a swirl. And then I start pulling out shapes from that swirl. What we're going to do here is I have my positioning and it's a relatively simple design. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go into the actual fleshing out of it at the same time that I'll be uh, inking it. You know what I mean? So hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh... Oh, one thing I forgot to do. I need designs along the hat. The hat has an extra brim along the brim there. And it also has uh, maybe some, usually some designs along the edge. I'm going to put circles to make it relatively simple and basic for everybody. Uh, okay, so let's kind of get into the inking portion of it. We're going to ink this to kind of make it uh, very high contrast. Uh, one, I want to make. It, I only want to make it two tones, uh, and let's kind of get into that. I'm gonna be pulling a line right here because with these eyes, I do want to make them angry, even though I know that you cannot make expression with just a the skull shape, or just the eye socket. But I'm gonna do that because it looks cool, and that's always that's one part of the tattoo. Yeah, that's a really a part of the tattoo, kind of, you know, to make things look cool, no matter, you know, how ridiculous they are. But that's everything, right? You want to make things look cool. Especially, like, I noticed with tattoos. With tattoos, it's almost like they take the, you know, the as much of, I hate this word, essence of cool, and they, you know, try to put it into a an image, you know, especially for, for the skull ones specifically. Um... I'm going to go into the nasal cavity here, and it has a little bit of a, kind of a divot. Pulling down. If you need to reference a, let me see, a real skull, like I would say pull a picture up and, and do that as well, you know. I'm not doing that right now, but be a good idea to do that. Or uh, you can also, you know, 
uh, watch the how to draw skulls video. I, I do kind of like the measurements and things like that. So you can kind of memorize one out of your head. That's just a good idea. Pulling down to this side. Some folds there as well. Pulling across up here. The zygomatic arch attaches to the top here. Pulling across for that, that hat brim. Pulling inward. What I'm doing right now is I'm trying to take care of the line art before I move on to the very next stage. Pulling the top portion of the teeth. Some uh, some of that I forget what that's called that that little dimples they have uh, skulls have where a muscle attaches I forget on the face there pulling up I'm gonna go around here and find the brim of the hat take care of that. Pulling in, pulling across, trying to keep it one stroke if possible. As simple as possible is always the best thing. Don't do it too quickly. Pulling it over. Now I'm finding the circles to the design I'm not even following my own template I'm just trying to even them out as much as I can Pulling that humerus, like I said, doesn't even have to be real, like a real bone per se. Pulling out, going into the rows, which I think is the the one of the harder parts uh, to kind of define. It's a little bit more organic than the rest of it, so that's something that you really have to keep in mind. Uh, but think of that wrapping, very similar to like lettuce. And uh, probably the lettuce is the closest thing I would think about. Pulling in, different portions are, like I said, coming out.
So now we're going to go in and try to erase a couple of things right now. And then we'll try to make that look more like a rose. I feel like it's looking too much like lettuce. I'm going to grab my eraser. Oops. Wow, that eraser had a lot of black stuff on it. I had black ink on it, in fact. So that's going to play into that. We'll have to ignore that. Let me grab my other eraser. Oh well, it's pretty much erasing. Just gonna get all the pencil lines out of the way so we can really see what we're dealing with. In order to do one thing at a time, don't jump ahead in steps so much. Uh, I feel it's it can be very frustrating if you try to juggle ten different things at one time. Let's go in and take care of that uh, that rose. It's kind of bothering me. So what I'm doing with this is I'm trying to group the shadow patterns so that they make sense and that they're readable. They can't be too uh, PC. They used to call it like as in a piece of you know cloth or something. Uh, if they're in too many pieces, uh, it will read as uh, kind of a big mess. So what you want to do is try to unify some of the shadow patterns so that they make some sort of sense. Uh, and the light source is coming from the same direction. Otherwise, you have like a disaster on your hands. So that's kind of one of those things that you have to control. Um, trying to make this larger shadow pattern down here kind of connect in to this this larger one. So your eye you're guiding the eye as it moves along from one place to the other uh, I keep kinda doing that as well since this is a 2D type uh, thing you know there's not going to be any shading in particular this is all uh, very hard edged type shading very uh, this is a very graphic image you know what I mean almost like I would like it to be like even a sticker if there's any different kind of style of, of uh, tattoo art you'd like to see let me know and I'll try to make it happen I'll try to figure out how to do it or I'll see t you know I'll see how much I can uh, figure it out for you and I'll make a video for it but uh, Please make requests in the comments. I really want to know. You know, I'm like dying to do more of these. I'm like anxious to do it. Actually, I'm pretty pretty excited. Uh, I continue that along, uh, knowing that the light source is coming from above to below. Knowing that the light source is coming from above to below, it, it makes my job all the more easier. You know what I mean? I know what's going to cause, uh, what will most likely cause a uh, shadow pattern. Uh, I'm going to put even a shadow pattern from the teeth the teeth casting a shadow so it looks like it's you know there just to make it look like they're in the same picture together Alrighty, going into the eyes, and I'm, by the way, for this I'm using the Artist Loft number 5, I didn't really uh, kind of go over that, I'm sorry about that. 
Uh, for the eyes, uh, there's such giant uh, areas of black. I'm going to use something a little bit bigger. Uh, I might use, I'm thinking about using this marker right here. This is a Charpec marker. And I will use it. Charpec Super Black Marker. It's just a giant Sharpie. And I'm going to use it because the area is so big. I'm also going to do that for the nose, the nasal cavity. And the one I was dreading it for, and I'm probably going to have to do it, would be the hat. The hat is entirely made up of black. I'm going to actually use a real Sharpie for that because that other marker is dying. I'm literally going to use a Sharpie for this. Okay, so it nearly killed my marker, but I filled in the majority of the hat, pretty much all the hat. There's a few striations because sometimes it, it kind of was drying up in strange places, but I'm going to leave it as is. I think that serves a point. Now I'm going to be taking this five uh, artist loft again, the same one that I had before, and I'm going to go along the edges here of the lower portion of the, the zygomatic arch on each side. And that is to make uh, like a shadow to bring a little bit of dimension there underneath the eye socket. A little bit more on the teeth here, around the tooth cylinder. And I'm going to go over here uh, along these bones here, and I'm going to pull down, do the same thing. Make this thick, uh, thin to thick, this shape. Give it some shadow. And that is pretty much it, to be honest. You can kind of throw this on the outside of the zygomatic arch to give it more separation. That's pretty much it. That is a, uh, a tattoo design of a skull with a rose. Uh, if you want, you can do the stem back there, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as is. But uh, if you have any questions in the comments, uh, let me know. I would love some recommendations. I would love uh, some feedback. Uh, if you like this format, let me know. Uh, what is it that you want me to draw? Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, peace out.